Uh, I want to cover a uh, very interesting topic. Uh, generally, we know like uh, spring, uh, spring uh, will dry with uh, spring with uh, studs too and various components. And uh, uh, I don't know how many people tried spring injection on servlet. Generally, uh, it's two different kind of uh, frameworks. Of course, everything is a different kind of frameworks which are in Java. But these are two different, uh, uh, generally whenever we require any controller, right, generally with the spring, some people will try spring with starts, some people will try to utilize whatever frameworks are available in spring itself, like spring MVC. Something like, uh, I, I tried a different example for servlets. So, when I uh, thought about the servlet, why can't uh, I use a spring injection on servlet? So, when I got this, I tried in Google and various example clubbed it with and I made it success and now I am able to inject uh, any object for servlet. Okay, so how I resolved, we'll see. So, this is my servlet class. So, uh, differently like, uh, I'm sure I can tell you, uh, uh, I mean, I can tell you 100% uh, because uh, spring injection is uh, different from uh, normal Java, normal spring classes with servlet classes. So, whenever we required any injection, on servlets, totally annotations, everything are different. See for example how it will be. So if we want to make it as a spring uh, uh, component, generally we will have a component annotation where we can make it as uh, on class uh, on top of class name. But for servlet, configurable is mandatory. And on top of that, so uh, like uh, Okay, uh, I'm just explaining uh, like uh, uh, how to apply a Spring IOC and servlet. I was telling like uh, very difficult process. It's not like it's not like a uh, normal class. Why it is not like a clear normal class? Generally, whenever web dot XML uh, executed container will be loaded first servlet classes will be loaded then it will be coming to the our application context listener. So for to achieve that, so to make it a spring injection on servlet, so context will be loaded before servlet classes. So that's why our servlet configuration or uh, spring injection on a servlet is totally different. So required at configurable uh, annotation and as well as in any method, we have to use spring bean auto wiring support on process injection based on co current context of uh, this class so if we use this sub uh, auto wiring support for this servlet it will be injected any kind of classes to this servlet so this is one approach i mean this is the one uh, first step we have to follow and uh, what about uh, jars so for this one <coughs> generally we required aspect and as well as aspect J we were also required so I am just trying web application because it's a servlet and I have to load context config location from the web.xml so that's why I have it is so general uh, spring uh, framework related uh, uh, I mean uh, jars uh, I have mentioned and these two are uh, logging related jars so context to context support are required and web is required and uh, spring core is required spring beans and spring web and aspect related spring aspect and aspect j weaver also required so this is the second step first step is configurable and as well as uh, auto wearing support and uh, need to follow exact jar files which are required especially aspect j weaver and uh, other than that third uh, item we have to follow so servlet we are making as a configurable so for that annotation config is required as usual we uh, 
this is not my actual application context which is there in webnf so components can because we are trying to use annotation based classes and we are using configurable so that's why we need annotation config and as well as spring configured which is required for configurable uh, classes so this is uh, applying uh, on uh, spring beans this is for annotation based this is for uh, configurable on servlet and uh, this is our classes so full setup uh, we have done full configuration details we have done and we will go through what exactly we are trying to achieve so we are trying to uh, call a servlet class and we are forming a response with the details which are available in address pojo so this address pojo i am trying to inject to servlet see how this will work I am just uh, uh, trying to run this application. See, it's it's displaying the details which are available in address object. Uh, okay, and I think I am trying to override these values from application context file. Yes. See, I am overriding these values from application context files. So, these are the default values which are there. So, those details I am overriding by the application context. So, that's why these details got displayed here. I hope this will help you. Thank you.